there are three important components involved in gene cloning. The three important components are the vector, DNA insert, and bacterial patch. This is the vector and insert, and they combine to become the combinant DNA. The recombinant DNA is inserted into the host cells and being purified, then we extract the cells. Bacteriophage lambda factor allows the cloning of larger fragment of insert than plasmid factor, which is 37 to 51 kg. This is crucial in constructing a gene library. Bacteriophage consists of head, tail, and base plate. The vector and the insert are cut using restriction enzyme. Once the vector is cut, it will form three fragments, two lambda fragments, and one central cluster gene. The insert will replace the central fragment. After that, they are joined together and form the combinant DNA. In this process, enzyme ligase reacts with ATP to form a covalent ligase AMP complex. It reacts with the biphosphate on one side of the neck, transferring AMP to the phosphate group. The final stage is the attack by 3OH group, forming a new covalent phosphodiester bond and releasing AMP, then proceed to the packaging process. is the process to reinsert recombinant DNA into bacterial phage head. In vitro repackaging promises more effective research. Transfection process are the same as transformation process. The difference is that we use phage DNA rather than plasmid. Bacterial phage lytic cycle is more preferable in gene cloning than lysogeny cycle. Hence, we will focus on how lytic cycle happen. First, after it becomes mature, viral particles carrying the recombinant DNA will transfer the DNA into the host cells. The phage will attach to the host cell and injects its DNA. Then, in the cell, the phage DNA will replicate. Capsid components are synthesized and the new phage particles are assembled and released inside the cell. Cell lysis occur and new phage particles leave the cell. The clear clocks indicate the presence of the phage mutants on the lawn of bacteria. Created using Powtoon.